Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to talk some hockey. Oh, yes. It's a beautiful night to talk some hockey. We've got some games going on at this moment. As you are watching you know, this video, whenever you're watching it, so far, it's been looking pretty good. The Penguins look kind of lost. You know, the, the the there's a lot of teams that are just terrible. You know, like the Blackhawks, the Sharks, the Blue Jackets, the Canadians. All bad. Just bad. You know, the Jets and the Stars, they're just having fun out there. I mean, the Stars have put up seven goals in multiple games, multiple games straight. You know, beating the brakes off of Pittsburgh and Boston. You know, the other day, Boston's been kind of middling so far. You know, but they're still in the thick of things when it comes to the Eastern Conference, at least the United Division. So, most teams have played at least 16 games. Some have played more than that, up to 21, I think, as of this moment. As of this moment. <clears throat> Alex Ovechkin is 30 goals away from passing Wayne Gretzky, but, you know, we'll see if he actually does that. You know, the Capitals are looking pretty good this year. You know, same thing with, with Sam Reinhardt. He's also on a run that's, you know, potentially very interesting where he could be on pace for at least 50 goals, maybe even more. The Oilers are confusing. I know Darnell Nurse got hit pretty hard by Ryan Reeves. And that caused Ryan Reeves to get suspended. You know, Oilers are confusing. I think a lot of people had the Oilers, you know, right back in the thick of things. I even had the abs going to the Stanley Cup final, but they've been confusing. You know, yeah, Kale Mocker and Nathan McKinnon and Alexander Georgiev and Miko Rantanen have been playing excellently. But at the same time, it's like the abs have looked painfully middling. You know, but it doesn't really matter because, again, this is still very early in the season. College hockey intensifying the games are getting even crazier. There are still a couple undefeated, such as Denver, you know, in the college ranks. And again, you know, a lot of college hockey isn't on, you know, TV as much. But we will get, you know, Boston College Providence tomorrow night. That will be beautiful. It'll be on ESPNU. Beautiful stuff. It'll be a beautiful game. I'll tell you that much. So if you're wondering what's a game that, you know, I can watch tomorrow, that's one to watch tomorrow. Boston College and Providence, of course, there are potential number one picks, you know, everywhere as far as the NHL draft is concerned. You know, potential number one picks everywhere. I saw uh, it was the Boston College-Michigan State game, and, you know, Boston College was doing – Doing their thing, they were doing their thing. Um, and yes, you're probably wondering about my trip to the AAC. You know, to take the game against the San Jose Sharks. Uh, Malachi Celebrini was not, you know, playing that night. He did not play that night. You know, San Jose's been again. They've not been very good. And that game actually went to shootout. When it was three two shootout. You know, they did. All the overtime, great experience. I was in this place, you know, I was in a good seat where I could, you know, see all the action. And it was a great game. What a fantastic game it was for my Dallas Stars. Yes, Texas hockey is still continuing to go. Yeah, I know, again, there's some other stuff about the NHL, you know, people are kind of whining. Oh, well, the ratings are going down and yada, yada, yada. But it's like, it's still early. The, the intensity has not gotten to where it needs to be yet. So we can't worry about all that stuff yet. We can't worry about that yet. So, yeah, college hockey, I hate that it's kind of just kind of, you know, kind of just there. But, again, I'm trying my best to watch what I can. You know, NHL, of course, you know, ESPN and TNT are doing their best. But – that best hasn't been good enough. I mean, there. Remember, opening day had a game start at three thirty in the afternoon. You know, not not the not the games that were across the way. You know, in, in Europe, I'm talking about on mainland U.S. soil. We had a game start at three thirty in the afternoon. Can't have that. 
genuinely cannot have that. So yeah, <clears throat> there's still lots of time. So, you know, yeah, some teams have played, you know, again, anywhere from 16 to 21 games at this moment. You need to stress that this is at this moment because there are games going on right now. But it is what it is. Still a long season to go. Lots of great players playing the games. You know, there's been some injuries and stuff like that. There's been some other stuff that's been going on. You know, trades potentially blooming. You know, like the Blues are trying to do something. But I don't know if they're going to do something. We'll find out. You will find out when that happens. Last but not least, real quick, you know, I want to talk about the PWHL. Um, again, the schedule was released last month. 90 games. We knew most of the games. We knew most of the times. Some of these games are now getting the the treatment of, well, we're doing some neutral sites, you know, places like Colorado and, and others, you know, are going to get nine exclusive games from the PWHL. There will be nine big-time games there. Um, and it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. Let me tell you, um, you know, there, there, there's some stuff that that's gonna just kind of happen, you know, to where I, I think, I think things are just gonna be fine for the PWHL again. You know, a lot of players retired. A lot of players retired. So a lot of new gals are gonna get their spots. Couple trades have happened, but those were back in June. You know, a couple of free agency pickups in July. You know, there's been some trades, but again, you know, not much has really changed as far as you know things have been going. Yeah, there have been some signings lately, but again, the season doesn't start until November the 30th. So you know, don't worry about it just yet. As far as, you know, seeing what the rosters look like, because I don't know what the rosters look like right now. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to hold you. I don't know what the rosters look like right now. You got a lot of players retired, you know, a few weeks back. So, or rather they were listed to be retired, and they retired a few weeks back. But remember, there's a couple of international breaks as well for, you know, world and other competitions, and Olympic-type competitions, you know, for these ladies, and there there are some things you know that have been very interesting. Again, you know, the PWHL is now included in the NHL video game, the new TV deal, which is the Canadian TV deal. There is, I don't know what the U.S. TV deal is at this moment, but again, the Canadians get CBC, TSN, Sportsnet, and Amazon Prime. You know, the pre, remember the preseason starts in just a couple of days and start on Wednesday, you know, at a couple of neutral side arenas. And again, you know, that's going to be interesting. But the Canadian TV deal is very interesting. All 90 games will be on one of those four outlets. Um, like Amazon gets like all the Tuesday games, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, other stuff going on, you know, like... But again, the U.S., I don't know what the U.S. deal is at this moment because they haven't said anything about the U.S. deal. You know, again, the team names have been, you know, handed out and given. And, I mean, they're all right. But, again, like I said, you know, a month ago I wasn't really super impressed. But I'm ready for the PWHL season. I'm ready for more just college hockey to hit my screen. Cannot wait again. It's been a while since I've watched some hockey. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, I've watched maybe a few games. And again, what I've also noticed very early on in the AHL has been a lot of blowouts, a lot of overtimes and shootouts, you know, happening. And of course, some more high scoring games, too. This is what I've also been noticing. The PW, the NHL has had some higher scoring games, and I like that. I really do, you know, for the most part. You know, there's still the occasional 1 0 game in there, you know, for every 3 to 2, 4 to 2, 
six to five type game we get. It's beautiful. College game, you know, has way more scoring, but again, it's not as accessible. You know, you have to have ESPN Plus. You have to have all these other different services to be able to try and watch some of these teams. So it's kind of hard. But I'll take what I can when I can, you know, because, again, most of the games I've seen so far through today have been blowouts. Opening opening night, those first couple nights, blowouts everywhere. Um. Again, like I said, see the blowouts or like I said, the game I went to, you know, a few weeks ago, the Stars Sharks game where it went to shootout. And that was a great game to watch, thank goodness. Even though it ended at like 10 o'clock at night, but still, it's beautiful. It's all beautiful, man. So I'm going to get on Ashel's hair. You know, the content trade continues to roll. Tomorrow, we got some college football. Wednesday, we got some NFL. Thursday night, I'm expecting oh, I'm expecting the usual, you know, amount of views when this type of update happens. The indoor arena football update on Thursday night. Lacrosse was supposed to be this past Sunday, but I was just not feeling very well. The debut of my MASL, my major arena soccer league coverage, plus me talking about the NWSL championship. Yes, you, you you heard that right. The NWSL is coming to this channel, baby. Because I have seen and I am hooked. I have seen some I've seen bits and pieces and I'm hooked. I'm in. I'm in. Forget about USL, forget about MLS, forget about La Liga, you know, and, and EFL, you know, English Premier League and all that other stuff, Serie A. Who cares? NWSL. M-A-S-L, that's it on this channel. And then, again, Friday, cross, Saturday, soccer, Sunday, feast week, college basketball, NBA, stuff all week long. I'll see you tomorrow as the feast continues as we march towards Thanksgiving.